Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new, welcome for the first time. I'm Bahati. For today's video, I thought I would talk about the makeup trends that I ditched that completely, completely changed my makeup game. Just to let you guys know, this does not apply to everybody. So it's okay if you do these things. If it works for you, that's totally fine. But these are the makeup trends I ditched that completely, completely changed my makeup game. So number one was using orange corrector. Um, I did make a video a while ago, I think it's a how to look put together video. And I do use it from time to time, it's just not part of my routine. You know, it's a pretty orange color and I just started to realize that if I used it as like a base, yeah, it would just make me look orangey and ah, it was just, this is too much. So yeah, I just definitely only use this whenever I'm maybe trying to cover up some spots before I apply my foundation, but I wouldn't use it as like a concealer because it's just it just it just wasn't a good look man <laughs> number two is filling in my eyebrows completely first of all i had crazy 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 thin eyebrows i used to tweeze almost every two weeks on top of me having thin eyebrows i would like just literally draw on them like a, it's a freaking crayon but i started to realize that it just wasn't as natural as i would like especially if i have really kind of thick-ish eyebrows now. So the way I do that is I take the brush and actually just like after I've applied the product and I use my ColourPop, what I do is just create like hair like strokes and then I take my spoolie and just brush the hair up. I don't know, it's kind of like painting, you know? Number three, oh my gosh, I used to be the biggest culprit, but I always used to line my eyebrows with concealer, like just, and this is the same concealer I use under my eyes, so it's a few shades lighter than me and it was just not a good look my trick is mix foundation and the concealer that I use under my eye and literally just apply um, a really thin there and then of course I have to blend it out so that it doesn't create that halo kind of look number four is baking let's just talk about baking for a minute I don't even know how that trend got so popular and I guess it's, it's it was a fun type of thing to do I mean it looked cool you know I wanted to bake so what I used to do was um, I take my Sasha buttercup setting powder I would bake and then do my eyes so that would take about 15 minutes but by the time I rubbed off all the setting powder and like cleared it off my face I literally felt like my skin was made of scales like I could not move I couldn't even, and I was thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, like, this doesn't feel right. I started to realize that I have dry skin. I always thought I was normal. I don't know why. Maybe if you have oily skin, it works because it'll actually set your um, foundation and stuff. But for me, it just does not work at all. What I do do though, because this stuff is amazing, I love it, put the powder on and just dab it and then swipe. So pat. Pat and swipe. Um, the final thing I ditched was actually just finding dupes. I know this is weird, but for the longest time, I would try and find a dupe um, because I mean, dupes are fun. You know, you don't want to spend so much money on a product when you can easily, you know, spend it for you know five bucks, ten bucks, whatever it is. Okay, so, for instance, these two are my favorite favorite product. Like, whew, I'm even getting nervous that like I don't have much left in here. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So before I bought these, I was looking for dupes because these are pretty pricey. But let me tell you guys, they are so worth it. So, so worth it. So you know what? I just decided to bite the bullet and buy it. And ever since, I just cannot keep my hands away from this product. And professionals use this. Um, yeah, I can say for myself, I've had my makeup last from you know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon to like 2 a.m. the next night. It's actually crazy and it looks exactly the same. Um, yeah, so those are the makeup trends that I am ditching. And at the end of the day, um, what I realized actually just makes your skin look good or always makes your makeup look good is actually just understanding your skin and understanding what works and what you need. So, yeah, that is it. Let me know in the comments if you guys have had any similar experiences or you've ditched any trends. I would actually, 
I keep saying this, but I would love to know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!